more than 6,500 sounds, 14 classic synths, six different types of pianos, three awesome organs, all with the same high quality sound as the instruments in the V Collection 6, featuring physical modeling technology and Arturia's TAE technology. The new Analog Lab 3 software is all of this and more. Hi, I'm Kinkas. Let me give you a quick tour of this amazing product. When you open Analog Lab 3, you will first need to set it to your screen. Click on Analog Lab, then Resize Window. You can have up to 4K resolution. Now you should link up your audio interface and MIDI controller to the software. Click on Analog Lab, then Audio Preferences. This opens a window where you can select your audio device, your MIDI controllers, and your preferred buffer size and sample rates, among other things. On the bottom part of the screen, there are more MIDI settings and CPU feedback, as well as a panic button in case you get any hung notes. Close the Preferences window and look to the left on the main window. You'll see Arturia's new and vastly improved sound browser. On the top, there are four main tabs, synths, pianos, organs, and multi. Multis are made of two sounds. We'll get back to them later. If you click on Synths, you'll find another three subdivisions. The one labeled Instruments lets you choose which of the classic synthesizer models you want to use. The one labeled Type gives you options like Bass, Brass, Keys, Lead, Organ, etc. And the one labeled Styles organizes the sounds based on other keywords like Bright, Aggressive, Soundtrack, and FM. You can select the category, let's say lead. As you see, there are 777 lead sounds in Analog Lab. You can refine your search further by limiting it to just one instrument and selecting a style. Go ahead and select the sound. As you can see, the sound title shows up on the top bar as well as on the Key Lab Essentials display. Also on the top bar on the right side are the toggle buttons for the on-screen keyboard and parameter controls. The other families of sounds, piano and organ, also give you choices for instrument model and type of sound. In the central area, you will find the list of sounds. You can reorganize the tabs to show only featured sounds, which are the ones labeled with the Arturia logo, or sort them by name, designer, type, bank, or instrument, as well as the favorites, which you tag with the heart shape. On the right, you will find the visual representation of the instrument, as well as some information. You can also click on More Info to read more about the sound. And owning the individual instruments of the V Collection 6 unlocks the feature where clicking on the pencil icon opens the instrument's control panel, so you can edit the sound. And on the bottom, there is another set of tabs to choose between factory and user banks, where you can save your own sounds after editing a factory sound. The tag More gives you access to the Arturia Sound Store, where you can purchase any sound you need. You can play all of these sounds in a really practical way using your MIDI controller. The Keylab Essential controller is completely integrated with the Analog Lab software. And it's easy to change which parameter is affected by each knob. Just open the menu under the knob you want to edit, and select the parameter you want it to control. Creating a multi is really easy. You start by selecting your first sound. This will be part 1. Then you click on the plus button next to the instrument icon and select your second sound, which will be part 2. You can then click on edit and then on MIDI and set the key ranges and MIDI channels for each part, so you can control each part with a different controller or set up layers or splits on a single keyboard. Next to the MIDI tab are the Tracks tab, where you can set levels for each part, and the Effects tab, where you can select different effects and set their parameters. Another cool thing about the multimode are the macros. 
You can set up a single knob to perform many functions across both parts. So you can, for example, have a single knob sweep the cutoff on the filters on two synths at the same time. Let's set that up. First, we'll choose the two parts. Let's go with the ARP Fast sound on the Mini and the Thunder Bass sound on the Sim. Now I'll click on the Live tab to expose the Macro page. Clicking on Macro 1 now shows the Macro Edit page with the four virtual knobs I can assign to control different parameters. Now I can click on the drop-down menu of the first knob and choose Part 1's Cutoff Frequency Control. Let's set the Range Pot to 100%. Now I'll click on the menu under the second knob and choose Part 2's VCF frequency. Again, I'll set the range to 100%. Now I'll play a bit and tweak that first knob. You'll hear both filters open and close together. Finally, I'd like to show you how to create playlists, so you can easily access the sounds you need for a particular gig. Just click on New Playlist, name it, and start dragging in the sounds you need. I'll choose an acoustic piano, an electric piano, a clavinet, an organ, a synth bass, a pad, an arpeggiator, and a lead. You can then click on the playlist and put the sounds in order. Now you can cycle through your playlist by simply pressing the program change button on your controller. And you can also assign each pad on your Keylab controller to access an individual sound directly. That's it, thanks for watching and have fun with your Analog Lab 3.